equal to 0 minus i, i0. To diagonalize the matrix, we have to find out the eigenvectors of uh, the matrix A. For that, uh, first we have to find out the eigenvalues. The characteristic equation is determinant a minus lambda equal to 0. In our case, minus lambda determinant minus lambda minus i i minus lambda equal to 0. If you simplify lambda square minus 1 is equal to 0 because i square is minus 1 already 1 minus n is uh, present so this is plus 1 lambda square minus that plus 1 that is lambda square minus 1 is equal to 0 then lambda equal to plus 1 and uh, minus 1 so we can have lambda 1 equal to plus 1 and uh, lambda 2 equal to minus 1 two roots uh, we can have to get the eigenvectors of the given matrix you write the eigenvalue equation eigen value equation a into x equal to lambda into x this is our eigenvalue equation in our case we are having two eigenvalues lambda 1 and uh, lambda 2 so we can have two vectors the eigenvectors the given matrix A are capital X1 and capital X2. These are all the eigenvectors. Now we have to find out the values of X1 and X2. For lambda 1 equal to 1, the eigenvalue equation is a into x1 which is equal to lambda 1 into x1 this is the eigenvalue equation for lambda 1 equal to 1 now we have to put up the values 0 minus i i into 0 this is the value of a then we should assume the value of x1 as small x1 small x2 this is the value of x1 which is equal to the value of lambda 1 is plus 1 into x1 x2 this is the value of capital x1 we are matrix multiplication 0 to x1 0 plus minus i into x2 minus i x2 here i into x1 this is equal to x1 x2 from this equation, we can have two equations x1 is equal to minus i x2, i into x1 is equal to x2. We do not know the values of x1 and uh, x2. For that, put x1 is equal to k. If x1 is equal to k, x2 equal to i into x1 that is equal to i into k now the first characteristic vector x1 is equal to small x1 small x2 which is equal to small x1 is assumed as k automatically x2 equal to i into x1 that is i into k because the value of x1 is k now you should find out the value of k for that to find 
the value of k. You should use normalization condition. That is x1 dagger x1 which is equal to 1. Here x1 equal to k i k. It is a column matrix with two element. Now x1 dagger means this column matrix should be changed into row matrix and then we should change the sign of i. Plus longitude of k is k star. Then complex longitude of i k is minus i k star. Then transpose. Conjugate transpose is called dagger. Complex longitude of k is k star. Complex longitude of i k is minus i k star. Then we have to change this column into row. This is only x1 dagger. Now apply this condition k star minus i into k star this is x1 dagger and the value of x1 is this much k i into k v is equal to 1 now simplify k into k star k square i into i square minus 1 minus 2 minus plus so another one k into k star k square which is equal to 1 2 k square is equal to 1 then k square is equal to 1 by 2 k equal to 1 by root 2 this we have taken positive root alone now the value of x1 is equal to x1 comma x2 is equal to k i k is equal to 1 by root 2 is the value of k then this is i by root 2 this is the first eigenvector now you should find the value of uh, x2 for lambda 2 equal to minus 1 see this lambda 1 equal to plus 1 and the other one root is lambda 2 equal to minus 1 or lambda 2 equal to minus 1 eigen value equation is a into x2 which is equal to lambda 2 into x2 here the value of a is 0 minus i i 0 and the value of x2 is x1 x2 plus 1 this is the value of uh, not plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 is the value of lambda 2 minus 1 into x2 value is x1 x2 now multiply 0 it x1 0 plus minus i it x2 this is minus i x2 then i into x1 which is equal to minus x1 minus x2 here x1 which is equal to i into x2 see here minus x1 minus i into x2 minus minus cancelled out so x1 is equal to i x2 then i into x1 which is equal to minus x2 Put x1 is equal to k then the value of x2 equal to see here x1 
equal to k then x2 equal to minus i x1 minus i x1 that is equal to minus i into k now the capital x2 becomes x1 x2 which is equal to k minus i k now we have to find out the value of k for that to use our normalization condition x2 dagger x2 equal to 1 x2 dagger is k star comma i into k star this is x2 dagger conjugate transpose into x2 k minus i k which is equal to 1 where k square plus k square equal to 1 this is 2 k square is equal to 1 then k equal to 1 divided by root 2 here also we have taken positive root alone k square equal to 1 by 2 k equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 here we have taken k equal to 1 by 2 now the value of uh, x2 becomes this is x1 x2 the value of x1 is k that is 1 divided by root 2 x2 is i into k this is i divided by root 2 this is the value of uh, x2 now using the two eigenvectors x1 and x2 we have to construct a new matrix b b equal to x1 comma x2 the value of x1 is 1 by root 2 i by root 2 put up that value this is equal to 1 by root 2 i by root 2 this is the value of x1 the next two is this much 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 this is the value of uh, b now find our b universe b universe equal to what we have to find in general suppose a matrix is given to you which is 2 by 2 in form consider the matrix a equal to a b c d then a inverse which is equal to 1 divided by modulus of a into change the elements this is d then a comes here and change the sign of these two elements minus b minus c this is a formula uh, just you have to write the a here see this operation these two elements are interchanged d a then the sign of these two elements are changed minus b minus c one divided by a modulus of a Modulus of A is actually 1 divided by AD minus BC. Then this is our uh, modulus of A into D minus B minus C A. This is A inverse. Using this formula, we have to find out the value of. Uh, B universe. Now take that as a separate work. B equal to 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, i by root 2. Here 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 take the modulus of b 
is 1 by root 2 into minus i by root 2 is minus i by 2 minus of these two say minus i by 2 which is equal to minus 2i by 2 y is equal to minus i this is modulus of p and then apply the rule a inverse which is equal to 1 divided by modulus of b sorry here this is b inverse not a inverse this is b inverse b inverse equal to 1 divided by modulus of b into just change the elements this is minus i by root 2 then this element should come here 1 by root 2 and the chain sign of this this sign is also changed then 1 by modulus of b which is equal to 1 by minus i into minus i by root 2 is minus 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 here also uh, 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 1 by root 2 now this is 1 by root 2 first element is 1 by i into root 2 then this is 1 by root 2 then this is 1 by minus i into root 2 see here 1 by minus i into root 2 now this is further modified as 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 see here if you multiply this by i numerator should also be multiplied by i by i i divided by square minus 1 so minus i divided by root 2 here yeah, this is 1 by root 2 here i by i i by root 2 multiply the numerator by i denominator by, by i i divided by square minus 1 already one minus sign is present so i divided by root 2 this is the value of uh, b inverse now we have to find out the value of b inverse a b then the value of b inverse is 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 1 by root 2 i by root 2 this is b inverse then the value of a is 0 minus i i 0 and the value of b substitute the value of b b value is 1 by root 2 i by root 2 1 by root 2 i by root 2 here 1 by root 2 minus i by root 2 this is the value of b verify yes uh, correct now we have to multiply Let's make the multiplication process this is equal to 0 into this 0 plus i square minus 1 
So minus or minus plus is B inverse A B. Now zero into zero zero plus a square minus one minus two minus plus so this is one by root two zero one seven zero into zero zero plus a square minus one minus or minus plus one by root two okay this is first and take this row and take the second column minus i by root two plus zero then one by root two one by root two into zero zero plus i square minus one this is minus one by root two here zero this term take this row and uh, this column this minus i by root two plus zero should be multiplied by one by root two one by root two then i by root two minus i by root two now this is multiplied as one by root two minus i by root two minus one by root two minus i by root two into one by root two one by root two i by root two minus i by root two to make the multiplication this row and this column 1 by root into 1 by root to 1 by 2 then plus this term i square minus 1 minus 2 minus plus so this is also 1 by 2 now take this row and take this second column 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 1 by 2 then minus to minus plus i square minus 1 so minus 1 by 2 then take this row and the first column 1 by root 2 into minus 1 by root 2 this is minus 1 by 2 here i into i i square minus 1 minus to minus plus so this is plus 1 by 2 and take this row and the second column 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 with a negative sign this is minus 1 by 2 here minus i here minus i so plus i square divided by root 2 into root 2 2 i square is minus 1 so this is minus 1 by 2 if you simplify this we can get half plus of 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is minus 1 this is the value of B inverse AB see this this is diagonal matrix D the diagonalization theorem points out that we have to construct a matrix B with the help of the characteristic vector and the constructed matrix should convert the matrix A into a diagonal matrix. See here, the matrix B has been constructed from the eigenvectors of the 
given matrix A. With the help of the eigenvectors, we have changed this 2 by 2 matrix into a diagonal matrix. Say final result we have already is a diagonal matrix. Only the diagonal elements are present. In this way, the matrix B is acted as a model matrix and it diagonalizes the given matrix A.